It's time to dive into the world of professional car photography where I'm going to unveil the five secrets that are going to help turn your amateur pictures into photography art pieces. Oh, and you're going to want to stick around to the end for an added bonus that'll help you put everything together. So let's turn your shitty pictures into pieces of absolute gold dust. Secret number one is location. Where you take your picture actually matters just as much as the car that you're photographing. This is the thing that most people fuck up, which is why I've put it in at number one. We want to be thinking about the background of the picture as much as the foreground. You want to make sure that your background actually matches the type of car that you're photographing, otherwise the picture is just not going to make sense. Have a look at these examples from Peter McKinnon where he's done a fantastic job of matching the car to the scene that he's photographing. If you're not sure what type of area to take a picture of your car in, an urban hotspot like this one that I'm at right now, is always a fantastic place to come and take your picture of any car. Things that you're gonna to wanna to consider for choosing your background for your car photography are, what color is the car? What type of car is it? Is it safe to actually access this area? Is it gonna be built up and busy or is it calm and quiet? You wanna make sure that your car actually pops and stands out from the background. That's why choosing the color is important. If you are coming to an urban environment to take photographs of your car, make sure that you do it at an off-peak time Otherwise, you're gonna be having a lot of hassle from some angry Karen or asking you to move out of the way. You fucking move? And nobody has time for that. Secret number two is timings. When you take your picture, actually matters. As you can see from the light behind me, the best time of day to actually take your photograph is in golden hour. Golden hour is the hour before sunset or the hour after sunrise. This is the best time to take any picture of cars. It gives a nice soft light on the car and it spreads it evenly. You wanna make sure that you're taking photographs at this time of day where you can. Otherwise, you're gonna to have to have some specialized equipment, which I'll talk about later, to help you out. You can also take pictures at nighttime if that's the vibe that you're going for as well. You just need to be a bit more thoughtful as to how you shape your light and use the light sources that you have available. One of the worst times of day to take photographs of cars is midday. Taking photographs of cars during midday is gonna give you some really harsh light and some harsh shadows as well. It's very hard to get the nice mix in that. If you do have to take pictures of cars during midday, then you wanna try and find a nice shaded area where the light's a little bit softer and not as harsh. Secret number three is equipment. These are some pieces of equipment that I won't leave my house without before going to a car shoot. First piece of equipment is obviously the camera. If you don't have a camera, you're gonna to struggle to take pictures of anything. Now, I personally use the Sony a7R 3 with a couple of different lenses. They say the best camera is the one that you have with you though, and I truly believe in that. If you have your settings dialed in, that's gonna be more important than actually having a super high quality camera. Knowing how to use a shitty camera is better than not knowing how to use a really good one. The next piece of equipment that I'll bring with me to every car shoot is a rag. Cars have a tendency to get really dirty and or covered in water drops. Nice little rag, wipe that off. This one here is gonna save your life in post and editing, so you'll thank me for this one later. The next bit of gear that you wanna to bring to a car shoot is a nice little tripod. Having a tripod is gonna add that extra little bit of stability. And shout out to my boy Mike from North Borders, who takes some absolutely unreal shots using tripods, using some long exposure photography. Getting those cool light trails looks fucking sick. The next piece of equipment that you wanna carry with you is an ND filter and a circular polarizer. You can get ones like this that have both of them built in. I'm gonna quickly show you what it actually does. If I hold the polarizer up to the back window here and slightly twist it, you can see how that actually is changing the reflection of the light. Nothing's actually changing other than the direction of the light, so it allows you to get more control over the shots that you're actually taking. That's what the circular polarizer does. And if you actually twist this little dial here, this is the ND filter section, so it's actually gonna make the whole image darker, kind of like a pair of sunglasses. So that's what the ND filter does. If you wanna to get to that real high level of car shoot, the final bit of kit that you can bring is a flash and a softbox. You can set this up on a tripod and take those absolutely unreal shots using that. So secret number four. Secret number four is the framing of your shot. There's a whole bunch of different ways that you can frame your shots whenever it comes to car photography. These are the most common ways to frame your car shots that are gonna get you the best results. So the first type of shot that you wanna frame is the front on shot. Plain and simple, use the grid lines on your camera to help you get the best shot here. Second type of shot is the three quarter shot. This is the shot that comes at you from a 45 degree angle. The next type of shot that you can get is the side shot. This is a nice way to show off the body or the curvature of the car. Another classic type of car shot is the rear shot. Because I mean, who doesn't like getting shots of the rear? The trick to so many of these shots is to get down nice and low. It puts a lot more emphasis on the car as the subject gives it that little bit of extra growl and makes it look a bit more powerful. Secret number five is details. 
Don't be afraid to get up close and personal. This is your chance to tell the story of the car and show off some key features. Here's some cool examples of shots that you can get. The steering wheel, the seats, turbo gauges, cool picture of the key, body kits, the wheels, the exhausts, cool badges, the lights. So there you have it, the five secrets unveiled to taking great pictures for your car. If you could subscribe to this YouTube channel and follow me at Dossy Media, it would help me so much more than you know. And if you've stuck around to the end, as promised, here's your bonus, where I've set a link in the description where you can download this guide and bring it with you to your next shoot. Tag me on Instagram. I'll see you then.